Hey guys, welcome back to part two of Voice Meter. We are going to be troubleshooting some of the most common questions you guys have when it comes to using the Voice Meter. And you have to remember here, guys, that there's a lot of moving parts. So each of these have to be correct or something isn't going to work. I understand and share in your frustration because I went through the same things myself. The original video was less complex and didn't address these particular issues because I wanted to make it as simple as possible and allow individuals to sort through some of the more common setting changes on their own and then correct the issues themselves. So let's take a look at some of the basic things. First, in your control panel, we're gonna, or you're gonna go to your control panel. Now you can either type control panel here, right? And then go to your control panel. For those of you who asked, how do I get to my control panel? Yes, believe it or not, some of the most basic questions are actually asked. So we're gonna go through it step by step. Now we're gonna go to hardware and sound, okay? Then we're gonna go to sound. The other thing I wanna mention here is if you try to follow along with this and change your settings, you may lose sound. Just so you know, believe it or not, I get that question as well. I followed everything you did and I lost sound. That's correct because there are certain things that you have to do prior to setting up your config. If you make changes during the process, you can either lock up your computer, lock up voice meter, or lock up your device. So that's another reason why if you do it step by step in the original video, you can run into problems. So while you're in your control panel, you're going to find your speakers or headsets. And as you can see here, it's highlighted in blue because my cursor is over it. You're gonna right click and you're going to enable it. Enable it to begin with. Okay, that's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna enable it. Then you're gonna go to your recording device, your microphone, and you're going to right click on it, and you're going to enable it. Okay, enable it. Then, once those have been enabled, you'll see a little green check mark here, and you'll see a little green check mark here. Now, they're not that way right now because, of course, you're gonna go to your voice meter, you're gonna right click, and you're going to enable it. And by enable it, enabling it, you will get the green check mark, and that's what you want. Also in your recording, once this green check mark appears here, you're going to go down to your voice meter, you're going to right click with a blue highlight, and you're going to enable it. And that will then enable voice meter. So it should look very much like this for your recording, and it should look like this for your playback. So your control panel is all set. Now you're going to start voice meter, not before the control panel. You're gonna set up your control panel, you're gonna set up your voice meter as your default, then you're gonna set up your voice meter, okay? Now, when you're in your voice meter, you're gonna make sure that your input is either MME or WDM. Now, it doesn't seem to matter to me which one I use, I still get the pops and clicks in some of my audio, so I just use WMME, and then I just fix the pops and clicks in post, okay? So MME, in this case, for my AT2020 USB microphone. Then you're gonna go over here to hardware out, A1, and select and make sure that it is also MME. So you're gonna wanna make sure that both outputs and inputs match one another. You don't wanna mix them. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go down to your volume icon if you're running Windows 10 and you're gonna click on it. Now, what also may happen is you might have the voice meter appear here, and then you'll notice that it's 100 sound, but you may not be getting any sound, and you're wondering, why can't I hear anything? That's because if you go to your default, which I just did now, you'll see it's on 22. And maybe when you go to yours, it might be even lower, and that's why you can't hear anything. So that's one of the common questions I get also. In follow-up to what I said earlier about people following step-by-step, step, the problem is your A and your B hardware input changes. And so the problem is that, for example, when I click on A, you're now going to hear an echo because you're getting the input and output into this particular signal. So you're going to want to disable A. Now you see there is no echo. So if you're hearing your voice, that is because you have probably selected A and now you're hearing the echo. So you're gonna disable that. For those of you who try to follow along with the video 
and your B is enabled, and then you go to watch the video again once you set A and or B, you're gonna lose that audio and you're not gonna be able to hear the video, the rest of the video. So you can only set this up the first time, just like it's set up now. Then you can listen to all the video if you want to. I know you have to try to remember all of this, but that's just par for the course, okay? So that should answer several of the questions that you guys have asked me. And I'm trying to think, okay, so now, the other one might be that you're running different types of gear or you're running different types of programs okay so let's start with programs now i'm using shadow play uh, and i'm going to go to my settings and shadow play and you can see here in my audio right here it is set to voice meter output and it even gives you a warning stop recording to change the number of audio tracks audio is currently being combined into a single track that's correct so if you're trying to change make changes like watch the video and follow it along and you're losing sound or you're losing audio or you're losing your test signal that's why and also you'll get the same thing in probably in your recording setup too to stop using instant replay record live highlight change these settings now you could be running obs you could be running fraps i don't know if people still use fraps or you might even be using a mac whichever one you're still going to make sure that the settings that I just outlined are set up. And believe me, I know. I've used this program enough to know that if you miss out just on one little thing, it can screw something else up. Now, the other question I get is, why is my voice sound not the way I want it? Why does it not have like a radio sound or this sound? That's because in your voice setting, you have this little orange uh, um, triangle, a triangle, square, and if I move this around, you guys are going to hear my voice change, but I'm not going to be able to hear it. But in the recording playback, I'll be able to hear it. Now, I personally like to keep mine like right about here. And of course, now that I've messed around with this, I'm going to have to go back and readjust it to get it where, you know, right where I want it. Another thing too is, I'm going to go real quiet for a second. And I want you to watch this particular um, input level. Okay, it's completely quiet. And the reason it is completely quiet is because I have turned up this uh, setting here to 0.4, which will drown out some of the computer fan noises or additional noises. Now, I would never recommend you try to use voice meter with a fan or any type of, uh, de uh, you know, any type of anything running in the background because it may pick it up. But what you can do is you go totally quiet And then make the adjustments here when you see that popping up. Like what you see here towards the bottom is the, the microphone hearing the uh, fans on the computer. Watch, watch. Right there, it hears the fans on the computer. And then it makes the adjustment because I made the adjustment to this 0.4 to cancel out that sound. Now, if you're running additional equipment with... Um, virtual cable then that's what your hardware input 2 is going to be for and of course i don't want to make this any more complicated than it already may already be for you guys but this is where you would start dealing with your virtual cable over here with game sound in game sound uh same thing applies uh why can't i hear your video in um in my headsets because if you change these settings as well which is part of what is the recording virtual input then you're going to lose the sound also because it is in fact a settings change as well so you will have to set everything up beforehand and then you can watch videos or other things or you know record do whatever it is that you need to do so hopefully this will address some of the most common questions that you guys have but of course you can always leave your uh, additional questions if necessary down in the comments below